Hello YouTube, Reddit Math here, and welcome back to Jagged Alliance 2. It's been a few days since we last left off, and uh, I've basically gotten to the point that we're ready to roll out here. We've trained up some militia in town, uh, our supplies have been delivered, we got some flashing email messages and all that stuff. So we're going to go ahead and pop into the laptop, we'll check out our new email. Oh man, crazy new email. Okay. The most important of these, from my perspective anyway, is going to be that a new shipment had arrived from Bobby Ray's guns and things, which is going to be our medical supplies. Additionally, Enrico yells at us again. Uh, we must understand that the needs of his people are urgent. They're suffering immeasurable. Every day that passes under her rule, more innocent lives are lost. He begs us to consider a more aggressive course of action. So, those emails will happen if we kind of rest on our laurels, but... Uh, Nothing negative really occurs because of it. And then, Jesus spec, how many new people did you get? Uh, so, this is certainly new. Um, and, my god, man. Uh, do you tell me who they are? These just like super generic emails every time. Oh god. Well, that's, that's great. I'm glad spec is expanding. So, in the original, uh, spec had... I don't know, maybe about a dozen guys total that ever joined Merc. Uh, clearly, recent additions to the 1.13 mod have uh, expanded his roster quite a bit. Uh, I would like to take a look at the people he has to offer, but I don't really want to do that right now. I'd kind of like to get this show on the road. And 1999's technology is just missing a mark all as red button. So what I'm instead going to do is we're going to pop back into the Drassen Airport sector. And we've got our new supplies that showed up from Bobby Ray's guns and things to take care of. Uh, we'll point out we did fend off uh, an assault on this sector. Uh, I just kind of left that out. Nothing really important occurs. Uh, one thing I will say, if you do find yourself under attack and defending this sector, this fence becomes your absolute best friend. Uh, if you're being attacked from either the west or the south, uh, they came in at about 7 a.m. The sun was just coming up. It gives you this ability to like fire out from safety. And if you start to get overwhelmed, you can just run back and they can't exactly press their advantage. You can't be flanked in any capacity. It's it's quite nice. Uh, so it basically turned into just sort of a turkey shoot. We lost a few militia, but it wasn't anything too bad. So anytime supplies get delivered to the Drassen Airport, you want to come in here and there's a crate back here that will find itself magically reclosed. Hmm. And there are our med kits and our first aid kits. Uh, I'm actually not going to bother trying to uh, dole that stuff out from this screen. Instead, I'm just going to pop back into the strategic map. So what I really want to see is Ira needs a med kit. Fox needs a med kit. And then I'm thinking I would like a first aid kit. Now this can't be used to heal people up, but it can be used to bandage wounds and stabilize. Uh, so who else do we have? Not really any uh, standouts. I guess we could go ahead and give it to Bull with his 10 medical. Uh, maybe he can stop himself from dying someday because of it. All right. And other than that, uh, with our militia trained to kind of hold down the Fort Orwagon, uh, we're going to go ahead and start heading back to Omerta. Uh, you'll remember we uh, kind of cleared with Father Walker uh, a route of supplies back to the rebels as they were desperate on food. Uh, it's been probably about a week since we did that and we wanna check in with the rebels to find out sort of how things are doing. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and set off for the rebels in Omerta and um, it shouldn't take me too long to get there, assuming nothing terrible happens along the way. I don't think anything terrible is going to happen along the I way. I made it. Let's no. do something already. All right, I arrived pretty safe and sound. 
And so let's go ahead and pop over here to the Rebel Hideout sector again. It is going to be nighttime or at least very early morning, depending on how you uh, view your 4 a.m.s. But all we need to do this time is just head back over to their uh, sort of secret hideout area and head down the stairs. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is check in with uh, Miguel and he's going to congratulate us on the supplies. Uh, the rebels Someone offer us something. quite a few. No, oh, I found a rock. Rocks aren't exactly super helpful. Uh, you could use them to make noise. Uh, I think that's really about their only purpose. Um, so the rebels offer us uh, a number of... Uh, playable characters that we can sort of recruit during the adventure. Uh, as you saw, we picked up Ira fairly early on, which is like no commitments whatsoever. Just as soon as we met these guys, we said, hey, who can you spare? And they said, Ira's pretty worthless. We'll give you her. But now that we've proven ourselves a little bit, and we've actually done something for these guys, we're going to be able to go back to them and ask for another recruit. As we slip our way down the stairs with their broken light bulbs on the ground, uh, we'll go ahead and have Coyote locate you are well. There we go. And we will just be friendly with the old chap. Good. The people of Omerta have you to thank for their food and supplies. It is through your hard work and the generosity of Father Walker that we enjoy the basics of life once again. Perhaps now I am in a position to offer the services of Dimitri. He is a good man. Are you sure this is wise, Miguel? Yes. As the countryside becomes safe, we too shall join Carlos. We must be one force united. It be the path to victory. Dimitri will serve you well. His skill throwing a knife will save you many an unwanted battle. All right then. So uh, Miguel mentions that he and Carlos will join us later. Uh, unfortunately, they never really make a big splash. By the time they join, I mean, they're excellent mercenaries, but by the time they end up joining, yes. it's usually a little too little too late as we uh, have enough inertia to kind of win without them. But Dimitri is going to be very handy. You have impressed Miguel. He speaks highly of you. Right. I would like this. I can learn much. And we pick up Dimitri. Yes. Uh, let's go ahead and take a quick look at him here. So he starts out with a 357 Desert Eagle. Not bad, but again, very low in ammo. However, he does get two throwing knives. And as Miguel pointed out, his skill with a throwing knife can save as many an unwanted battle. Meaning uh, they're fairly silent. And if given the chance to start a fight with them, uh, it can go pretty well. His marksmanship is 77, which is pretty decent. Uh, beyond that, his mechanical skill of 71 is his other sort of redeeming quality. Everything else is kind of middling. Uh, with a Wisdom of 56, he's not going to be gaining a ton of stats throughout the game. But he's decent enough as he is. You know, 73, 71, uh, those are decent agility and strength. His uh, mechanical and marksmanship makes him a decent... Uh, shot as well as somebody who can help repair up our equipment once we uh, get a few uh, toolkits in our repertoire. Uh, other than that, really nothing else we need to do down here. We'll go ahead and pop back up to the surface just so we can quick travel again. And back on the surface, the plan I've got right now is uh, this is kind of going to be... We're, We've got two sort of different operating squads at the moment. Uh, we're going to have a squad one and sort of a squad two, although uh, Biff and Flo kind of have to stay out of it because these other guys get sort of upset if they're around. Uh, they're going to be sort of in charge of Drassen for right now. It's still pretty contested. Uh, we're taking some counterattacks from time to time. As you can see, there are these little groups swarming all around it, so it's not exactly safe to move in and out. Uh, but we're going to take a while to just sort of practice up marksmanship on most of these guys until they're all sort of a decent enough shot. And then we'll let them deal with basically this like corner of the map. 
there's going to be some stuff that we need to do over here. Uh, not just the city of Drassen, but there's other things in the surrounding sectors. We're going to let them handle most of that. While that's going on, squad one is going to be the one pushing out. And we're going to end up heading this way with these guys. We're actually going to stay off the main road, which, you know, kind of tends to make a ton of sense considering we're sort of an insurgent force. And then we're going to end up coming into I'm San right. Mona here from the top. Now, San Mona isn't your traditional town uh, like the others where we're coming in expecting a fight. We don't know it yet, but San Mona is controlled by someone besides Didrana. Uh, sort of a kingpin of crime-esque figure uh, that we can run into. So it's sort of not exactly a safe town. We're not going to take it over and you know, harden our position and train up militia there or anything, but we shouldn't have to worry about Deidrana's forces harassing us while we're there either. It's uh, sort of going to turn into neutral territory. Also, this is real terrifying as I have sort of ended up in a situation where I'm being surrounded on all sides. and I do not like that one bit, especially considering our troops are fairly tired. So, you know what? Uh, thanks to... I believe Ira's scouting ability, uh, we've actually got there. pretty what decent visibility on what's going on. Man, how do we get out of this one? Uh, we could go there, retreat, which will damage our morale a little bit, but then kind of juke south around these guys. I'm not super excited about getting into a fight, uh, especially as energy levels dwindle into the 50s on some of these guys. They're, they're not exactly going to be ready for it. So I'll tell you what, uh, I'm going to do a little bit of a dance party with these guys and I will catch you on the other side of that. I'm into it. All right, we did manage to get around all these guys with uh, our morale intact, although our energy levels I'm in position are and available, very low. As always. Well, thank you, Fox. I don't think these guys are going to want to travel too much more, but we have reached our destination. Uh, also, We've got to kind of keep an eye on our current balance. We're doing okay. Uh, these daily expenses largely have to do with the upkeep of our own militiamen. Uh, we're making a profit though. So, you know, this is rising. We're going to have to renew some contracts on these guys in the next couple of days. But hopefully there's some money for us to be made in San Mona uh, so that that sort of gets sorted out. And I tell you what, let's go ahead and jump, 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 jump right into uh, Sector C6 and see what there is to be seen. So uh, there's a fair amount of sort of RPG stuff uh, going on in San Mona. I don't expect there to be any real yes. combat. We could probably have everybody uh, take a nap and they wouldn't complain too much about it. But for right now, let's think this here. This is nice side of San Mona. Big storm start forest fire here. Okay, fair enough. The nice side of San Mona. Uh, if I remember right, I actually don't think there's very much to do in this sector. At least not right now. Um, there is the cowhides over here that I think we might want to uh, to run into. Other than that, we've got a watering hole and the snack and shack back here. Skin tight fashions, cowhides and Smokes, the best name for a shop pretty much of all time. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, we would find another one of the, uh, the brother bartenders in there. Uh, I'll spare you his dialogue as uh, you've basically already seen it. And instead, let's find out what there is to do in Cowhides. Of the characters we've got, I think I've got the best leadership yeah, I do, which is basically the game's gotcha. sort of charisma it helps you talk to people stat. Uh, it's just sort of rolled into an all-in-one for leadership. So uh, I am going to be the face, it looks like. We'll go ahead. Oh, are you kidding me? Could you maybe get out of our, our way here, Mr. Customer Guy? There is a way to exchange places. There we go. No, that's... No, I don't want to shoot him. I want to... Do something. Can I talk to him and get him? No. Oh my god. 
I know there's a way to force NPCs to trade positions with you. I mean, control, alt, shift. What else would it be? Well, our entire liberation of the country has come to a grinding halt because there was a customer in our way at Cowhides and we cannot proceed. Oh my god, come on, man. Just let me let me let me pass. Can I can I just walk walk around you? Can you can we maybe can you Standing by. No. Not even Standing by. not even a tiny bit. You're not gonna you're not gonna let me through, are you? Uh, I don't I don't think gun violence Standing is by. the answer here, but I really wanna shoot Standing you in the by. leg right now. Okay, and he finally stepped aside, <laughs> which allows us to come in here. Understood. No, you Feel you don't get to, to run away. Only the finest quality leathers are available in my shop. If I can be of any help, my name is Angel. All right, and we meet Angel. Let's I be have friendly a very with him. Unique item for sale. It is something I believe might interest you: a Kevlar treated leather vest. Very fashionable yet extremely practical. I could let it go for, say, $950. Um, you know, why not? And how will you be paying for that? With, with dollars, obviously. Uh, we'll give money $950. This is why I was a, never a cashier. All right, we'll go ahead and give Thank him the you. money. I am sure you'll be satisfied with your purchase. The vase is extremely durable. It will no doubt last you a lifetime. Awesome. I uh, have no idea who we're gonna give this to, but it offers 13% protection, uh, which is actually better than our Kevlar vest. Really, uh, but only 20 out of 20. Okay, well, I don't really see uh, myself wearing something like that in a combat zone, but uh, perhaps we will find one of our characters wants it. Um, I have like nowhere to put this. I'm just gonna hold on to it for right now. Okay, and we wanna go ahead and continue our conversations with Angel. I am going to put my faith in you. You seem trustworthy, and I sense this may be my only chance. My sister, Maria, was taken from our home in Meduna just over a year ago. She is being forced to work as a prostitute. I moved to Samona and opened this leather shop so I could be close to the shady lady brothel where she is being forced to work. She once was a very innocent and naive girl. I fear that is no longer the case. I beg you to rescue her, to free her from the brothel and to bring her back here to me. I will give you everything I own. I can't afford to pay you cash, but I know where you can find some. However, you must be careful. The shady lady is owned by King Payne. If he knows it was you who spirited her away, or you engage his men in battle, he will kill us all. Okay. Well, uh, we'll keep that in mind. But I think for right now, the Kingpin's a little bit strong for us to uh, potentially cross this early in the game. Uh, so we're going to do what we can to try not to anger him. But we did find out that uh, Angel is in town because of his sister, who was basically kidnapped from their home and turned into a prostitute. She is now in the city, made to work at the Shady Lady. Uh, the Shady Lady is not in this sector, but we will see it before we're done with Samona. What I think I'm going to end up doing, uh, there's a fair amount of like plot stuff going on and uh, some kind of cool action-y things uh, that we're going to end up doing here in San Mona. So I'm probably going to go ahead and leave this episode here as uh, I feel like we've gotten long enough. Uh, and then next episode we'll end up picking up, heading into the rest of the city, and maybe we might just meet this uh, dastardly kingpin of crime. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and if you did, feel free to subscribe for more videos daily. Leave a like or a comment if you have anything to say about this or any of my other episodes, and I will catch you guys next time.